All right, taking a live uh, picture here of Mission Beach, you can kind of see the waves crashing behind the haze. They're always popular, especially this time of year. Now, what you definitely don't see on here are the swarms of flies that have been invading the restaurants and alleys nearby. New at 5, 10 News reporter Robert Santos shows us how they're trying to declare a no-fly zone there. Mission Beach. So popular in the summer, its population goes from about 5,700 to 20,000 people. But for the last four summers, there has been one visitor, or shall we say thousands, maybe millions, that isn't welcome. People had a hard time sitting here and eating any meals, and it really affected my business. There were flies everywhere. An entomologist, David Faulkner, hired to study the problem last summer, took these photos. He determined the flies aren't from seaweed on the beach, but from trash building up in Mission Beach alleys. The problem, residents believe, started about four years ago when the city started a recycling program here. They also took away the second trash pickup for the week. That's when the problem started. Trash cans started to overflow and the invasion of the flies began. With no immediate solution from the city in sight, John, the owner of Swell Cafe, started a nonprofit group called Beautiful Mission Beach. Together with the Mission Beach Town Council, they've come up with a short-term solution hire a private trash company to do the second trash pickup for the week. They've also hired another company that once a month cleans, sterilizes, and deodorizes trash cans. Property owners, many who live out of town or outside Mission Beach, pay an extra $125 to $160 for summer months. You know, a majority of them, they understand the problem. They come to vacation themselves too, and they don't want to deal with the fly situation that we have. So they're all on board to take care of it. They hope this kind of cooperation, along with the city sweeping the alleys once a month and residents bagging their trash well and locking it up to prevent scavengers, will keep flies from multiplying. It may be too early to tell, uh, but as it stands right now, I don't have any flies on my patio. He hopes it stays that way the entire summer. Robert Santos, 10 News.